Good morning class second students today we will start a new chapter of mathematics that is chapter number 3 multiplication and division under this topic we will study about jumping off number 2 we will study this topic with much ease using activity and we all will have fun learning it students there is a beautiful garden with many colorful flowers in it do you know there is a butterfly also and this butterfly is flying from one flower to another flower let's check the movement of the butterfly within the flower first the butterfly flies and sit on flower number 2 and from flower number 2 it flies again and sits on flower number 4 after flower number 4 it moves to flower number 6 and then again on flower number 8 from flower number 8 it again flies to flower number 10 from flower number 10 it again flies and sits on flower number 12 after flower number 12 it moves to flower number 14 and then again it flies to flower number 16 from flower number 16 it flies again to flower number 18 and again to flower number 20 from flower number 20 it again flies to flower number 22 now it flies to flower number 24 from flower number 24 it moves to flower number 26 from flower number 26 it flies to flower number 28 from flower number 28 it moves to flower number 30 now let us revise the butterfly first sat on 2 then 4 6 8 then 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26 28 and last 30 dear students this is the jump of 2 now it's time for homework students you have to write counting 1 to 30 on the floor of your house and take jump of 2 students as you all are preparing for your pass tests so these kind of questions are going to be part of your pass test like if the butterfly reached number 2 in the first attempt where did it reach in the third go a 2 b 4 C six D eight. Let us see. The butterfly reached number two in the first attempt, and the butterfly flies to number four in the second attempt, and in the third attempt, the butterfly flies to number six. So the butterfly reached number six. in the third go 
So kids, the answer is C6. So kids, in the past test, first you have to read the question properly and understand it. And then afterwards you will solve the question and then write the answer. Okay?